Hi, my beautiful Pisces, cross watchers, <laughs> parties. What's up, you guys? All right, you guys, I'm going to be doing a channel message for you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support, the comment, the subscriptions, you guys, the donations. I appreciate you guys. Um, I do apologize for my delay, okay? Um, I got back from Miami, had a really awesome time, had a really, really great time, did not want to leave. Um, when I got there, I was already a little sick, came back to my daughter being sick. So, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know what the heck is going around. And as you can tell, you guys, lately I have been like exhausted and tired. Okay. So when you see me, I don't know if you guys can tell. But I can tell. I'm tired. So either way. Let's see. What's the message I need to get to my beautiful Pisces? What is the channel message for you that you would like me to get to Pisces? What is the channel message that you would like me to get to Pisces? All right, let's see what's up, what's up, what's up. Ooh, the Empress. Okay, Pisces, you could be dealing with an Aries, you could be dealing with a Libra here, or a Taurus energy. Okay, but, okay. This is a good card to come out first, right? Let's see what's going on here. There's somebody here who could be a friend, a lover, some type of partnership you have with someone or friendship or a connection. It is a soulmate connection that you have with this person. And I do feel like this person is going kind of like back and forth. They may be delaying something here. They're delaying giving or receiving something from you in regards to their emotions and feelings, maybe even communication, showing you something that they feel. Yeah, I feel like they're kind of stuck, right? With the Six of Swords energy, it's like they're stuck. So they're stuck in their head mentally in regards to thoughts, um, feelings in regards to you. But I feel like with this Empress being right here, this just goes to show how much they do value you. This person sees your worth. Obviously, they see your worth. They see your abundance. They see your growth. Okay. Tell me more. Did I say they see your growth? Yeah, the fool could be an Aries. I feel like there's somebody here who really wants to take a leap of faith in regards to towards you, coming towards you. <laughs> I feel like they're lying to themselves. They are, they're trying to, um, it's like they're procrastinating is what I'm hearing. There's a lot of procrastination. Um, there's a lot of, hesitation uh they're also maybe kind of like telling themselves not to come towards you like i said this could be a friend a lover um a sister a brother a family member you'll know who this person is i kind of feel like this person is kind of creating some type of false belief um or way of feeling or thinking it's like this person is very logical right now in regards to how they want to come towards you yeah this person, look, I really feel like this person really wants to um, revisit an opportunity here with you, right? Uh, this could be a friend, a lover. Hmm. Empress energy, Aries, Libra, Taurus, strong, like fire energy. But yeah, okay. I don't know why I feel like this person is kind of like, running away from something that they kind of like know or something that they feel but there's like i don't know what this mark is like they're trying to be like logical about it it's like they're trying to talk themselves out of something here in regards to you <laughs> tell me more 
These are very positive cards, though. Yeah, very positive cards. And all major arcanas are on the table. You're dealing with somebody here who's really wanting... This is the chariot here, Cancerian energy here. So you're dealing with somebody who is wanting to come towards you, Pisces. Um, there's a very positive momentum, positive energy here building up. Someone really wants to see you, pack a bag, come towards you, take a trip, visit you, be around you. Yes. They're wanting to choose to move towards you, choose a new direction in regards to you is what it looks like. Yeah. And I feel like this may have been someone who's been at eyes with you. Um, there may have been some type of conflict. And I also feel like there's some type of inner struggle here in regards to this person. I feel like it's so weird. I feel like it's like the inner struggle here really looks like this person. Um you know, kind of trying to convince themselves or tell themselves that they should not deal with you or that this is just going to be an issue or you guys are going to bump heads again or you got, and this could be like a friend or you just, you guys are just not going to get along. So, but I feel like with the nine of swords, I feel like they really want to come out of that. Um, but it's like, they're also, they're so aware of something. They're so aware of the differences between you and them in regards to your actions, your belief, your behaviors. They're, they're, they're know, they know that something about you and them may not be in the same beat or the same rhythm. You know, it's like you march to the own beat of your drums. They march to the own beat of their drums type of thing. Tell me more. And I was just saying that and I saw the world. And like with the two, it's like marching to the beat of your own drums, right? <laughs> Yeah, Eight of Pentacles here in reverse. Yeah, so I do feel like this is somebody here that has not been putting in some type of effort, okay, with you to have this equal give and take in love with you to may have some type of healing or reconciliation here with you in some way, um, or they have been having a hard time detaching from something. But I do feel like it's just energy from time to time. I feel like this person does want to come towards you, reach out to you. This person sees your beauty. They see your strength. They see your work. They see your value. They see your accomplishment. They see your success. They see your growth. And that's why they want to move towards you. Because this person still see you as someone who is very successful with the chariot here. Um, and I feel like this person really looks up to you in some way. Yeah, the three of pentacles. Wow. So, but it's like they, I don't, it's so weird, but there's something in their head that's stopping them. There's something that they're thinking about. It's like maybe a conversation that you guys left off at, how the conversation left. It's something about some type of turbulent, like conversation, something here in regards to communication. And I do feel like this person really wants to be able to come together to express their feelings and emotions here with you or come back together here with you in communication in regards to their emotions and feelings. But I just really feel like they're, they're stuck in their head. Um, they're stuck on that last word, that last conversation. And it's like they're not transitioning. They're not moving forward from that. But I do feel like they do want to fix this or work on this. They want to be able to work together here with you on this, um, work as a team or it's like be on the same page here with you. This could be the past energy. Hmm. Honestly, I do get this energy that this person, I don't know why I feel like this is someone here who's like also... I don't know why I'm getting this energy like an overachiever. Like there's someone here who's like, they may want things to be perfect and they want things to be a certain way, but it just doesn't work like that. And I just really feel like this is someone here who, this may be happening past, present, future energy, or this person may be coming into your energy or your life like currently or in the near future. You'll know who this person is. I just kind of feel like they're 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 an overachiever. They may want to perfect something in regards to this connection, this relationship, this friendship, this partnership. I just, I don't know why I'm getting this energy that they're, they're overachiever when it comes to wanting to have some type of victory here with you. And that's how they probably were in the past. There was someone here like that. They come off as this energy, you know, like kind of someone who's doing too much, right? Um, 
doing too much to maybe get your attention or to show you that they are a good person or a good friend. Let's see in the present moment. Yeah, temperance, Sagittarius, energy here. I feel like this person may be really getting besides themselves. They may be getting very impatient. Okay, this could have, they could have been in the past, could have been um, someone who's like very impatient here. Um, and it's it can be very self-defeating because I really feel like, I don't know why I get this energy that this person may have been trying to like please you, woo you in some way. It just kind of feels like, it, it's weird. It kind of feels like this is your energy, the two of cups, the page of cups is them. I really feel like, I don't know. It feels like it's coming from a, a good place, but at the same time, Pisces, I feel like you may have been like overwhelmed by it emotionally. Like, you know, um, I just see you kind of holding back your love or your emotions or feelings when it comes to this person. And I do kind of feel like this person may have been someone who was kind of like over the top when it came to like showing or expressing their feelings or showing how much, you know, you know, they, they, they feel about you. This person is someone who is overly, I don't get this. I don't know why I get this energy where they're over the top. They're over the top when it comes to their emotions and feelings, and it can come off as a little imbalance, but I do kind of feel like it's coming from a good place. It's coming, it's coming from them wanting to achieve things with you, work together with you, be on the same page with you, fix things with you. You know what? I, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> Tell me more. I don't know why I'm getting that. They're not a bad person. This person is not coming up as a bad person. Okay, tell me more. Yeah, the hangman could be Piscean energy you're dealing with. But yeah, a lot of hangmans here. Not hangmans. <laughs> a lot of major arcanas here. Because um, I feel like this person may be really going through going through a lot of things here in their life. Um, I feel like this person is trying to figure out something here in regards to you. I feel like they're they're feeling strongly that they should come towards you. But yeah, but it's like, <laughs> I don't know why I get this energy that the way they come towards you, it's gonna come off as, um, it's just very strong. It's like, it's very strong. Like they have a very strong nature, personality. They come off as very strong, yeah. Tell me more. And it's like when they get an idea, they may become very like, it's like they act, they act, they react. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Emphasis on a Virgo energy. Maybe even a Virgo female. A lot of feminine energy coming out here too. So I feel like whoever this person is, Pisces, again, I am getting this, this sense of overbearing, overachieving, you know, you know, there's someone here that kind of wants to, I don't know, get this energy of perfection. They want to perfect the relationship, the connection. They want to perfect something here. And again, I feel like this person really wants to come out of conflict here with you. They want to talk to you. Um, they've been delaying this. They've been going back and forth. They've been back and forth with it, but they do want to come out of some type of, um, you know, conflict with you in regards to communication. And they kind of really want another opportunity here with you. And I feel like they will be kind of like directing this to you, uh, that they have not, that they really want to overcome this, you know, all right. This despair, this disappointment, this sadness, there's a lot of, re there's regrets. So this person will be letting you know that they regret a lot of things or they have some regrets here in regards to something that was communicated or said or feelings, something that they may have felt in regards to you. Yeah, could be a Virgo. Like I said, the Hermit is in reverse. Pisces, I do feel like this person means well. I feel like this person really does mean well in your life. Gosh, they, 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 they are, there's a lot of major arcanas here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like this person is going through, they're, they're really um, going through a lot right now, a lot of changes. But I do see that this person is not, I don't know, I don't see them as a very bad person. I see them as someone who's being enlightened to a situation, to their situation, to your situation. Um, 
and it's taking some time, but I also get this energy where this person, it's like, I don't know why I get this, like, they're not hot head or hot temper, but it's just like, they're so quick to move on an idea. And I feel like what's going on is that they really need to get your, they really, I don't want to say they need to get your approval, but they really need to get compromise or they need to understand how you feel or what you think about it before they react or before they do something. And I don't know if they understand that. I do feel like this person may be kind of like a little imbalance here emotionally. Tell me more. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. I don't know why I get this energy where this person may need your help. And I feel like they're not coming out and just like saying it. And that that may be the issue for you, Pisces, that they're just not being direct about it. Um, I feel like this person may not be being as direct as you may want them to be. I see this person as someone who may be kind of beating around the bush a little bit. Into, uh, in regards to what they may want you to provide for them or help them with. Why do I feel like this is a Virgo for some of you guys? Or this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy, Pisces, Aries, and we have Sagittarius here. Hmm, tell me more. I feel like this person is not grounded. Oh, Ten of Cups. Yeah. I'm telling you, who is this person? This person sees you as family. They may see you as a loved one. They see you, they see you as a part of their growth. They see you as a part of their abundance. They see you as a part of their um, emotional well-being and happiness. Wow. I do feel like this person has, you know, issues, but I don't feel like it's nothing that you and this person cannot work through. Tell me more. I see you and this person. Yeah, this person. Wow. This person is really wanting to manifest an emotional connection here with you again, a family here with you again. They want to um, manifest a healthy connection, relationship, emotional connection here with you. Okay. You know. Tell me more. These are really good cards. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Okay. So I do feel like there's, again, a lot of hesitation here. There may be hesitation on your part, Pisces, too, based off of the loyalty of this person is what it looks like. You know, do I really want to be in partnership with this person? Do I really want to work with this person? You know, tell me more. Three of Wands. Okay. And for some of you guys, I feel like it could be, uh, so I don't know why I'm hearing baggages. So someone may have some type of baggage. So it may be what comes along with this person. But I do feel like this person feels like their ships are not coming in in regards to you. You are holding back. Why are you, you're hesitant about this person. Tell me more about being friends with this person again, about being a family or in a family with this person again, or being connected to this person again. While this person is seeing you as their happily ever after, their emotional, yeah, see, four wands. This person, I'm telling you, this person feels like their ships are not coming in when it comes to like having this close happiness here with you again. Who is this person? It's like this person wants you, wants to welcome you back in their family. They want to welcome you back in their, you know, in their home. They want to, they want to grow with you. They want to prosper with you. They want, 
Yeah, they want success here with you. They want stability here with you, Pisces. And I do feel like they will be, you know, working towards this, trying to plant seeds and um, showing up in some way, you know, to show you that they want this stability here with you. I feel like this person finds you very difficult too. They find you as someone who's very difficult in some way to work with or to achieve this with, but they want to manifest this anyway. There could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in the midst of all of this. Sagittarius. These are very positive cards, Pisces. I do feel like you're dealing with somebody that is really trying to perfect, you know, something here with you. They really want to fix this. They really want to fix this uh, connection, this happy connection, this emotional connection, this family, this friendship. And I'm seeing them plant the seeds here. And I'm seeing them like kind of like overdoing something here with you. And it seems almost like they're doing too much or they're they're over the top or they're just like really doing a lot. Um, but it's because they really want to show you that they're serious. And I, yeah, and I, this is what I'm seeing. Someone's moving towards you, coming back around, coming out of the cold here with you. Um, and they're coming back in your life or wanting to come back in to celebrate something here with you. Um, they're wanting to celebrate something here with you. This is so weird. This is not somebody who's looking for your approval. It's just more of they're looking for your support and your love or they want to support you and they want to love you. Okay, they want you to know that they want to be there for you. They want to support you in some way. Yeah, I really feel like this is somebody who wants to support you. They want to be there for you because they look up to you. They 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 value you in some way. And I just really feel like they're doing a lot to show you that um, they want you back in their they want you back in good graces or in their arms again or in their family or back in their corner again in some way. They do feel like you're very difficult or they feel like this is going to be a very hard task here to manifest this with you. They feel like you may be overbearing or very closed off or um, not really open to nurturing a situation with them. And it could have a lot to do with them. It could have a lot to do with dependability, their dependability, or you feeling like you can't depend on them. But this person really wants to show you that you can depend on them. Mm. And they feel this is very difficult and they also feel like they feel like in the near future, they're going to be feeling like everything they're, they're doing or what they're doing is not right. It's not good enough. Um, based off of how you how you respond to them. And this is what I'm seeing. And they may and I feel like they are trying their best not to withdraw. This person feels very lonely in their life too they feel like um i just get this energy that this person does feel lonely and even if they're around people or certain people they don't feel like how they used to feel when you were around it's not the same so they still feel it's so sad when you can be around people and still feel lonely and still feel unloved or whatever so that's how this person feels or still feel like you can't depend on the people that are there and I feel like with you, they know that you were someone here that was dependable. And I do feel like they miss that and they value that and they want that again. And they are feeling like their ships are not coming in because they kind of feel like you have, I don't know, you have kind of like, I don't want to say you've changed. You seem to be the same person, but you're just not, you're not someone who's going to nurture something so easily and quickly. You're not someone who's just going to come around and just nurture a situation just because someone is back. And it's like, I'm back and it doesn't, it doesn't hold much value to you in some way. Wow. And I do feel like there's a part of them that feels like giving up. 
because they feel like they're never going to get that same nurture or like commitment from you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is what I'm seeing. This is someone here who is very dedicated and very serious about this here with you. Very serious about nurturing something here with you. Very serious about being around you again, having stability, having celebrating something here with you. Um, somebody wants to be there for you, Pisces. Somebody really wants to be there for you, Pisces. Now, don't feel like their intentions are in the wrong place here. I just feel like this person is really going through a lot themselves, learning who are their friends, who are not their friends, who are their family, who are their foes, who's really there for them, who really cares about them, you know, who's going to go hard for them, who's not, who's been there, who hasn't type of shit. That's what it feels like. What's the message that I need to give to Pisces in regards to this person? Give me one card. I don't know. This is weird. That doesn't really feel like a love reading. Yeah, unrequited love. <laughs> There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Over our energy is getting to know each other. Reconciliation here. Uh, as you reveal your animal selves to each other, your bond deepens. So yeah, this is somebody who wants to get back close to you again, but it's kind of awkward. It's awkward now. The situation is very awkward is what it looks like in this card. Like, it just seems so awkward now, you know? This is somebody here who wants to show you a different side of them is what I'm hearing. They want to show you their growth. They want to show you that they have become or they have grown into this beautiful butterfly or they see now, they see their worth now. They have been enlightened. They understand the reason why you were the way you were. You act the way you were. You did it. Da, da, da. They're, they're seeing things differently. There's changes that this person is going through. And I do feel like this person really wants you to get to know the other side of them or they want you to get to know this person that they have grown to be or becoming or the person that they are becoming to be so they want to show you something about them and and hoping and that maybe it will you know create a different bond here with you or deepen the bond here in some way in this unrequited love here there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going i really do feel like it's a sense of like rejection okay Feeling like chasing after something or chasing after you and really feeling like, you know, uh, they're not going to be perceived by you the way that they want you to. Or it's just really sad. <sighs> Tell me more. And I'm not going to say, you know, in this in this card, I know it looks bad, but it is a man that's kissing the woman's hand. So it's almost like someone kissing someone's ass but not necessarily but it's just like i'm willing to do or show you whatever it is that you need to see to see that i i love you i care about you i'm serious in some way but you don't know who this person is it'll be a lover a friend i don't know yeah worth waiting for divine timing is that working your love like yeah and i really feel like this person doesn't want to wait like i feel like there's that's why i'm saying temperance they're feeling impatient about this you know i feel like this person has been waiting long enough here or holding back or stalling in regards to showing you love or in regards to coming after something here that they see in regards to you something that may have been lost like this is what i'm seeing tell me more this came out healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents maybe this is your parent maybe this is your sibling maybe this is a family maybe this is a family member maybe this is someone you had you had issues with um maybe this is your wife but either way your husband but i do feel like this is somebody here who is they're ready they're ready that's why the the fool is here this is a new beginning they're ready the chariot is all about being ready you know moving towards something they're ready for something here they've been waiting long enough they feel like it is time i'm gonna find it love and healing family issues they may feel like their love is not going to be perceived or their dedication or their seriousness um Mm. yeah codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so yeah I... well whoever this person is i feel like they may have really had some type of issues 
or they may still do, but they've, they, they, ha they have had issues in the past, um, some type of unhealthy issues such as it could be in their own romantic life when it came to love, attachments to people, um, connections. They just had some type of unhealthy connection to someone in their life or it's like they see it now or they may have had some type of codependent issues when it came to your connection. Um, they may have had addictions like drug, alcohol, you know, all this other things that you can think of. There's so many different addictions in their life or their addictions could have to do with an actual romantic partner. But I do kind of feel like this person really, they want your trust back. They want your trust back. Tell me more. They want to gain your loyalty or they want your, yeah, they want, they want that back. Yeah. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Gonna be, this this could also have been someone who lets things get in between this connection. You know, like, uh, I don't know, let's say if it's your mother, they could have let a man, or this is your daughter, they could let a man get in between um, the lifeline or a lifetime of what you guys built or had together. It's just really weird. It's almost like someone has let so many things affect this connection. And I kind of feel like this was a connection where there's true love. This could be your own child, your mother, your father, your best friend, um, a lover. And I feel like for what it's worth, they see this now. It's like they see the errors of their ways over our energy is deception and reconciliation. So they see where they may have like deceived you or hurt you. And it's like they wish that they could go back and change the past in some way. Um, but that that's not what they can do. They can only do, it's like from now moving forward, that's the only thing they can do is focus on the present moment. And that's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with somebody here who kind of wants to right their wrong here with you. Hmm. 